Yo, Philly254 living life. Back at it. So the Street Fighter 6 open beta concluded yesterday. And I played pretty much all weekend. And I loved every second of it. So how well did it play on the Steam Deck? It played, it played well. No issues whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I believe the demo, originally I had to change it to a Proton GE version, which I can't remember which version it was. I want to say it was 7.55, but I could be wrong. But uh, since the Steam Deck has been updated, or the Steam Deck's native Proton version has been updated to uh, Proton 8.0-2, the game played flawlessly. I mean, it still played on the same GE version of Proton that the demo played on, but I didn't really need it. I Just to test it out, I just made sure to just play it straight up with the regular Proton version, 8.0-2. And it played flawlessly, no issues whatsoever, no weirdness, nothing nothing at all. So I was good with that. So as far as how well does it perform on the Steam Deck, which I'm assuming it will translate into the actual full game, which we'll find out June 2nd, no issues whatsoever. Now, how did the servers perform? They were kind of iffy. They were kind of iffy. I understand that this was basically a stress test of the servers just to see how well, how well they would work. And... I'm glad they did it because they got they probably got plenty of valuable information because it was a little iffy at first. Uh, I played it, tried to play it. Let's put it this way: I tried to play it Friday. I know a lot of people were up midnight or whatever time their time was to play it. I just went out, went on the bed, you know, and just played it. I think I got up around six, seven, and played a little bit. I tried to play it a little bit. I could get in, I could walk around the battle hub, and then get disconnected, and sporadically i got a match or two on friday but ultimately i really didn't get anything not too much play time on friday i think friday evening i say friday evening i did get a few matches but it was still a little rough um from what i understand people who initially just jumped right in immediately and were starting at midnight playing or uh, whatever whatever their time zone whatever time it was for them when they first when it opened up they had like no connection issues well i don't say no connection they they were unable to connect to anyone they couldn't play at all. They couldn't connect to the servers. It was rough. It was bad. It was like the WWE 2K servers. You know what I'm saying? It was just horrible. Um, I think they did a little update, you know, past the servers and whatnot, and then that made it a little more playable by the time I was playing it. But even still, it was a little rough. They did another maintenance update uh, Saturday morning. I can't remember the exact time. And at that point, it started becoming more and more stable, and it was definitely playable at that point. And every now and then... Uh, I would get disconnected, but it was like very rare. So it was nothing. I mean, I'm on an online game I'm cool with a disconnect here, here and there. So no big deal So I'm pretty sure they're getting valuable data to stress test it as far as The actual experience as far on the Steam Deck. No stutters. No, no weirdness I did no I did. I will say I did have the Steam Deck crash on me twice that was once on Friday when I was trying to play and connect, and then once on Saturday. Both times, um, well, no, the one on Saturday was after they fully, I guess, got the servers up and running with, without too much of an issue. So once after the servers were good, were good, and then once before the servers were good. The Steam Deck did crash on me twice. I will admit that. I will say that. Um, after that, though, other, other than that, those two crashes, I hadn't, really had no issues whatsoever. I was playing left to right all day. Now the actual gameplay, or well, I mean, if you're watching this, you know how Street Fighter, you know how Street Fighter plays in general. So I don't have to tell you, explain it to you. But the actual experience when playing it, it's a little confusing. It could be a little confusing at first. I will say this. So that you know, they a lot of this stuff. I'm not gonna go too deep in. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know. The guy basically, when you're playing online, at least they have two control systems, which is modern and classic. They have three technically, which is. One, the third one being dynamic, but that's only on local play. But online, it's modern and classic. Classic is what we all know, you know, for for example, for uh, a fireball, Hadouken, you know, down forward punch. Whereas the modern, it makes it a little easier. You can just press like forward and a special attack button and it just does fireball for you. It makes it a little easier, you know, a little easier for, for novices to play at, no big deal. I did try out the modern play and it was just, it felt like it was too limited, man. I just couldn't. I couldn't get with it. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing out combos left and right, but it just felt too limited with what I could do. So I had to go back to classic. And I think that's ba basically the whole gist of it is 
when you first start off, you'll play as you play as modern, and if you're not too familiar with it, that is, you'll play modern, and then eventually you will graduate to classic, and you really start getting to the weeds with it. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the confusion part, I was talking about, it's they got a lot of options, man. A lot of options. For example, you can you can alter the uh, the control scheme for each character, but it's by the character. It's per character. So at first, I was like, so you have to go in and choose your character. So you have to choose your character, for example, for rank matches or even casual. You choose your character, and then you just wait for the rank match to start, right? But you have to go in and for each particular character and change the control scheme. Now, they do have an option, which I found out later, that you can do apply all, which worked out well for me. But at first, I was changing it for each character as I was trying them out until I found the apply all kind of button. And the weird thing about it, I guess the confusing thing about it is in the option screen, there is a, a little button or a little, you know, controller layout to ask you, you can change it from from using uh, modern or classic. And I changed, changed it to classic. Did, did That did not apply <laughs> to the online. So I get, I'm assuming that applies to local play, I suppose. I'm not sure. Or single player, whatever. So just kind of FYI. It, it can be a little confusing, a little daunting at first when you jump in there to the battle hub. You're kind of roaming around. You're trying to like, what do I do? Where do I go? You see all the little, little uh, arcade cabinets, if you know what arcade cabinets are from back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Arcade cabinets, you jump in there. And basically, you can just run over there and just queue up with a bunch of people and just play like you're playing, literally playing arcade. But the actual ranked and casual play is actually within the menu. And that's where, you know, you actually can, you're pretty much connected to anyone and everyone. Keep in mind, and, I'm, and I did kind of skip this, when I said the battle hub, before you enter the battle hub, there are multiple servers based on your region and whatnot. Now, it's like 400, 500 servers. It's, like, it's a lot of them. I didn't really count all of them, but it's a lot of them. So you can choose different servers, and and you basically, when you're in that battle hub, you're in the battle hub with the people that is within that server, right? But when you're actually going ranked and casual play, you're playing with everybody at that point. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of confusing, right? So it kind of works in that way. So when you're in the battle hub, you're kind of cruising around, looking around, and you're trying to figure stuff out, and... It can be a bit daunting, confusing, but fortunately, it does have like an in-game chat. You can throw some questions out there, and people will be pretty cool and kind of help you out. I saw in the in-game chat, people kind of helping other people out, trying to figure out how to change the control scheme from modern to classic and all that fun stuff. So, it's pretty cool. It just takes a little time to get used. It takes a few minutes to get used to. Now, of course, this was only for the beta, but there, at first, I thought there was no practice mode, really, which actually there is in the battle because you know there is a practice mode technically there will be a practice mode technically in the full game but for the beta if you just want to practice while you're waiting for a game for a ranked match or anything or something like that you just have to go to an arcade cabinet you know and then just kind of you can choose you know for you know choose what side you want to play on first the left or right side and just choose solo training and then choose whatever character you want to train with and take it from there at first i didn't know that and i was like man how am i going to learn these characters dude it took me a while to kind of figure that out, and I figured, oh, I think I was watching the streamer, uh, Maximilian Dude, and I thought, oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. So I kind of practiced a little bit, but a lot of times, man, when I'm getting a, a, on a fight game at first, I really just jump in the training mode to see what buttons do what, and then I'm off to the races. And I lose hard immediately until I learn the hard way of how to play the character. I don't know. It's probably not the best optimized way to do it, but it's how I operate. I don't know. Overall, the game was fun. The menu system is a bit confusing at first. They get, they throw a lot of options at you. So the menu system can be a little bit confusing at first. But after you kind of get past that little bit, that confusion part, it's all good. No problems. And you, once you kind of learn how to navigate the game, navigate the battle hub. The battle hub, you first walk in there, you're just kind of roaming around, looking around, man. It's a lot thrown at you. But once you kind of get all that understood, what, what does what, what sections of the battle hub means what, because different arcade cabinets... They have different arcade cabinets for different purposes. They have like a shop and all these things. Shoo, you're off to the races. Ultimately, as if you haven't already known, I'm buying this game. I've already pre-ordered it. It's already on. It's already on tap. So I'm just waiting for the game to drop, June 2nd. So it is what it is. But this really, this beta, open beta, just really reinforced it to me that this is gonna be a fun game. And if you on the fence about it. Man, and he, well, let's put it this way. If you're on the fence about it and did not get to partake 
and the beta, the online beta, trust me, trust me. Play, go ahead and buy it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna regret it whatsoever. It's gonna be fun. The beta, online beta was only what eight characters, and it was just the online portion. Imagine when you get all your characters and all the different game modes. It did have the extreme battle cabinets. Just kind of throwing that off when I say game modes. It did have the extreme battle cabinets. I actually didn't play them. I didn't see anyone over there playing it. I think everyone else was trying to play online and do all that. I'll definitely, you know, go deeper into that and everything else that the game has to offer once the full game drops on June 2nd. So definitely, definitely it's a purchase if you're wondering about it. I've already pre-purchased it because I know I'm going to get it. And I definitely will cover it when it comes out, when it finally fully comes out. As you saw over the weekend, I was dropping all kinds of videos of me just playing online. Some some games me getting my ass whooped. Some games with me just actually just putting putting in work. It is what it is. But as, but as always, if you like more Steam Deck news, walkthroughs, gameplay, lives, like and subscribe. Cruise through the playlist. And I'm out.
Kimberly wins!